We've been telling people to cut calories for 50 years. It helps like 1% of people. So 99% of people uh, fail at doing that. That's sort of a standard, you know, if you ever look at the statistics of weight loss, that's sort of standard, 99% failure rate. It's like, why would you, you know, recommend a treatment that has a 99% failure rate? Like, don't you think you could do a little better than that as a physician? Yeah. So that's the whole point. It's like, you know, and, and I think that resonates with people who, who, who listen to that and say, well, you know, you know, if calories doesn't work, counting calories, cutting fat doesn't work, then we really shouldn't be doing it. A lot of the obesity epidemic was not individual people's fault. It was really the fault of a lot of bad dietary advice that we gave people. You cut your fat, eat a lot of carbs and eat 10 times a day. I think that wasn't very good advice. I think that's the advice you would give if you wanted to get fat. And this is what happened is that people gain weight and then they really got blamed for it. And I think that's just really super unfair because again, you can take an example. If you have a, a teacher who has a hundred students and one kid fails, yeah, maybe he didn't study. But if now like 70 kids fail, it's not the kid's fault. And to, to, to blame them for that is very unfair. And that's what we've done for a lot of um, overweight, obese people because we give them such bad advice and we know that it's going to fail in 99% of the time. And when they fail, then we turn the finger and point it at them and say, you have no willpower. It's like the whole obesity epidemic is not a collective loss of willpower epidemic. <laughs> it's like, that's ridiculous. Like, look at these shows, like The Biggest Loser and stuff. Like, these people are doing so much and to think that these people have no willpower, it's like, have you seen them? They're like working out till they throw up. And it's like, those are people with no willpower. It's like, I should have no willpower like that. <laughs> and it's like ridiculous to make these sort of assumptions because what happens is that we make these character assumptions when really it was just to save the ego of some obesity researchers and people who thought that this sounded like a, this calorie counting thing was a great idea and therefore it should work even though the empiric evidence shows that it's a complete failure. They save face by turning around and pointing the finger at those people who have failed, which is really just being a victim.